how many people might uh, have the awareness uh, that, I mean, it would seem that a small percentage of the Earth population might be aware uh, of Billy Meyer or of Playarians or that there are human uh, beings in the universe or all of the things that are expressly um, pre present. Mm. How, how does that awareness grow? I don't know the number. Uh, uh, there is about uh, less, uh, about a maximum of 10% uh, of people on this uh, eight eight point five milliard billion uh, people on this planet who are not uh, very much um, in. Um, in religions, in religious belief. So this, in other words, 90% are still uh, still uh, deeply into uh, religion or ideology, something like this, and not on reality. And uh, it is said by the Pleon that in about 800 years there will be uh, the first time when you could say now uh, there is some acceptance of uh, reincarnation, for instance, or uh, this is, in other words, there is a, a great, a long way to go. And the Billy Meyer case is not uh, not known to many people, I think. But there, there are more people reading uh, the, in governments and agencies our bulletins, newsletters, then we are thinking that, but uh, this is uh, thousands, uh, a few thousands people, not more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are not missionizing, we are not uh, going out and, and, and giving, uh, trying to convince anybody because uh, for the truth it's um, a requirement that everybody must decide for himself or herself to, uh, to take one step after another. And so it's, uh, it's a slowly growing, slowly growing process. And um, religion also is, um, is of course, uh, striving and doing all things, uh, missionizing, so that they are uh, getting more and more believers and faithful. So, uh, mm. you know, you have uh, the first thing is that you uh, are responsible for your life, exactly. and that's the only, the only situation where you can change anything, only yourself. You can never change anybody else. You can uh, write letters to the editor in, in, uh, in, uh, in the newspapers. You can do what, what you are doing here. You can, uh, what you do in the FICO Landes Group in Canada, to write down your writing articles. You can information booth. You can perhaps make an ad in, in a newspaper. Uh, but uh, that's uh, yeah, that's everything. Uh, perhaps there are other good ideas, but you cannot uh, protesting and going to the street will not change any, anyone. And if then if it's it's trouble and it's uh, there is uh, it's violence and people are hurt, you are a part of it, and you are uh, you are also. Uh, uh, to blame if you go because that that's danger, but of course there will be situations when the the, the, the people should stand up against uh, against uh, a small minority if the land is uh, is going down the drain, but only in nonviolent way. This is uh, but this is um, difficult. You, you, know, you have no control who will come to this uh, demonstration. So writing, talking is the way. So it's not 
Mark suggested that you, you know, you can like strengthen numbers, and then when people all get together, and then they sort of somehow have a protest. So you're, that's no. really not the route to go. It's more you change the something in, in your life. No, the, 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 the change must come from person to person, impulses, information, information. So a person can be more knowledgeable about things that happen, about the possibilities that are present that they don't know, and that's the way. And this is a very slow, it's a slow way because there may not be any influencing uh, suggestion or manipulation, that's not, uh, not the, the, the correct way because each human being must uh, have the free decision to his or her thinking. I guess what I'm saying is, like we're, we're saying, all, we're all saying you elect the right leaders. So if mm -hmm. this happens, like, what is, like, how does that, you know, we like to change yourself, but then in the end, yeah, you. The yeah. leaders were going to say this, this, and this, and then you're just like. Yeah. Yes. You, you see, uh, this is a slow proce process. You can, you can, uh, you go to uh, election parties or uh, campaigns, and if the the, the person is um, telling something, you can ask questions. Go, get, as, as a part of the public and ask, uh, what do you think about overpopulation or something like this? That's the way to, to, to ask questions, but not uh, use violence. Mm -hmm. Perhaps there are other uh, ways, uh, unviolent un ways to... Uh, uh, just sitting back and doing nothing is the wrong way. <laughs> Writing writing and, and talking with people, but also being uh, there, um, not um, talking too much. So people uh, perhaps uh, saying your opinion, and then you know, see if the other person is interested or not, not trying to convince anybody. That's the, the, the real way. Talking about rationality and intellect, um, I guess how it relates to to being open to the spiritual teaching. Is that a factor that because there's a lot of science and, and very smart people and intellectuals, but they don't it doesn't make sense to them. What is that a factor in, in the in being able to see what's there? You know, it's it's like there's all these people who It's, it's a problem of the thinking of many people who are thinking that rationality is the only, uh, the only uh, way of being intelligent. And uh, since uh, the age of enlightenment, the, the Zeitalter der Aufklärung, it, when the, there was a changing from religion to science, science in Europe, there was a, a, a a time uh, when they were um, starting to, uh, to research and so, uh, then there was a separation of, uh, of the inner world and, and out, outside world. People were more focusing on uh, what's, uh, what can be looked at, what can be hold and so, and they, they uh, lost their um, connection with their, with their inner inner self, their uh, psychological aspects, and uh, I think many, uh, many people think that uh, only rationality, rationality is important, but intuition and, uh, and, uh, and uh, thinking about oneself, about what's happening in one's mind is not as important, and they are uh, 
they don't find, uh, yeah, actually they le are leading a, a, a life that is not uh, full. They, they are uh, neglecting aspects of, of one's life and they are, uh, they, uh, you know, they are missing essential, essential um, values in life. But you have to be, uh, you have to be uh, ready in your um, makeup, in your progress, to be become open. Perhaps you start with your ufology. If you start to, to to accept the possibilities of extraterrestrial life, in my case, for instance, this can already be a beginning to to break out of uh, the, the the this uh, scientific view they all uh, there is only a certain picture that is true and only that with that which I can see is true and it needs uh, an individual uh, openness there have been uh, very famous scientists who were open to um, to such kind of um, questions but there are many scientific thinking or a bit more People are think they are more, a little bit more above the other people. They uh, restrict themselves to their own luck or well-being, actually, by only, only, uh, yeah, special, exactly the spe specialists, and, and there should be more. Uh, there are uh, there are some uh, some some efforts by certain people to bring back the more generalistic view in science because uh, they have learned that uh, you have to combine uh, life. It's not just uh, this part here. Life is everything is depending, interdepending on each other. So, but uh, these people are, they are laughing, laughing if you, or they, or they are, don't understand if you give them a book. They don't understand, simply don't understand, and then they are perhaps subconsciously they are angry at themselves that they don't understand it. Who knows? <laughs>